Cohen. Good so, afternoon. we're back. Welcome he back. Manners. He has manners. A little green for this kid. Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, boy. Uh, he said he had a small dick. Insulting a man's penis. How risky. <laughs> Poor Johnny. He's the dark sensitive type. Oh, He's a service nah, man too, Cole. Good. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crash? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star on Sugar Land. I've heard it. Thanks. Man, this mini fridge you got up here is like the best thing in the world. I know, it's fantastic. We have some questions. God, if we had to like go downstairs. Oh, we would. We would never drink. No, we'd be like. Ugh. We would be so much healthier and more responsible. Lenny Finkelstein was selling stolen morphine. He had one third of the shipment. Old news. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, we drink like every single time we record. So the first, like. Oh, Five episodes at least. We're pretty sober. Yeah. But by the time we're like running to the end of it, we're usually pretty done. Yeah. What did he say? I was I was dealing. With he doesn't know anything about his uh, brother-in-law selling the one-third shipment of morphine. But I don't have any evidence to prove that he doesn't. Yeah, so I'm just so doubting. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a funny habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question, you might get an Whoa, answer. Whoa, shit. All right, fine, let's move on. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Cool Ridge. One of those Marines was shot to death. In a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Again, oh. he's so shifty. Yeah, doubt him definitely. Yeah, doubt again, I don't have any evidence. So yeah. You haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes bum, it bum, bum. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendrix, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have uh. to put that dope. Looks bad when people die. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. Just squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Oh, so they are the ones with it. Well, that was easy. KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want oh, every sweet. Car. Go. I don't want to drive, I don't want to drive, I don't want to drive. <laughs> Fuck, gotta get to the car before he does. I don't want to drive. <laughs> I don't want to fucking drive. Fuck Hi, you're welcome drive. to LA Noir Simulator. Fucking it's uh, I don't want to drive simulator. Can you drive to this one? To the bus shooting. Do we know where we're going? Yeah, drive. <laughs> Just keep going until you see a bus getting shot at. <laughs> Is it an elementary school bus? <laughs> Your face. Like, oh my god, is it? <laughs> There's no way they could put that in a video game. Uh, dude, they might. I mean, if you could go into a, an airport pretending to be a terrorist and shoot a bunch of innocent people in Call of Duty, I'm pretty sure you could shoot up a bus of kids. Yeah, but there was no kids in that airport. They That's never right. let you kill kids in video games. It's like one of the ultimate tabers. Yeah, rules. it's like the worst thing in Skyrim. It's because all the kids are assholes in yeah. Skyrim. So you want to. So you want to, but you can like, hit them and shit, but they'll like, be fine. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Unless you mod the game and lets you kill kids. Yeah, that's like the ultimate no-no in games is killing kids. <laughs> Sweet. But if you're playing as a kid, you can still die. Take Zelda, for example. 
Yeah, but they don't want you as a player to kill yeah. kids. <laughs> or I guess be succumbed to the death of children. Well, it wasn't going to be us shooting this bus of kids. It would have been mm, whoever stop. assholes are shooting that bus of kids. This fucker. Nah, that's a city <laughs> This is why I don't take the bus. <laughs> Random dudes on the roof in a fedora shooting at it? That, and did you hear about the guy who, like, stabbed some dude and, like, cut off his head on a Greyhound bus and then ate part of his brain? Ugh, what the fuck? Or no, I don't think he ate part of his brain, I think he ate part of his head. Like, he, he scalped him and then... Wow, I died quickly. Yeah, I think he, like, scalped the head and, like, put a bunch of the scalp in his pocket and they found traces of it in his stomach. Oh. Yeah, just some fucker like brought a kitchen knife onto a Greyhound bus, cut off some dude's head randomly, and ate some of it. And I guess he wanted to keep some jerky for later. <laughs> You're getting messed. Wow, I'm getting wrecked. Alright, alright, I see how this is playing. I'm gonna have to run around, I guess. Fuck is Spider-Man in Yeah, no kidding. We. So who's all stoked for the Deadpool movie? I'm so excited, I'm probably gonna see it on Sunday. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking stoked for it. Since the girl I asked out for Valentine's Day is busy, that's probably what I'm gonna do on Valentine's Day. Although I hate, hate going to movies by myself. It's the worst. So I'm probably not going to. I did it once, and it's the worst. I've never done it. It's the worst. Where is this guy? I don't know. Like, I know this is dangerous and all that jazz, and I'm probably gonna die, but... I'm just... Oh, is that his head? Yeah, good job. Right in the dick! Kick him in the kick him in the shins, punch him in the face, suck him in the dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a Devin Townsend Facebook post. Uh huh. Devin Townsend, my favorite musician of all time. Ever. California. Uh, super cool to the homeless. Oh, so if I probably would have ran around farther, I could have actually gone up this building and then, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, who gives a fuck? I did it my way. Not the highway. Who's this asshole? He's not wearing a watch. All right. All right, no clues on him. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the only time the hand has ever been a clue is the ladies that got their ring ripped off. Yeah. All right. Oh. That feels like a long time ago. That did. Oh, here we go. Phone number and restaurant table. All right. Mocambo! Table three, which is where we had lunch. Well, talk to the dude. We didn't actually. He invited us for lunch. We didn't stay. Which we should have. Because, you know, if the mayor's going to buy you free lunch. Take it. Alright, let me take a look at this clip. It's probably just a clip. It's just, it's just some balls. It's an empty clip. All right, let me look at the actual gun then. Oh shit! It's like the exact same gun. It's one of the BARs. Oh, yeah. All right. What a twist! It went black. Dude, M Night Shyamalan should make a game. One of the guys from the ship. I mean, his movies says, are being fucking terrible like lately. Maybe he'll do better in the video game market. Oh, I doubt it. Plot twist. You've really been a werewolf, teenage <laughs> vampire, honky tonk <laughs> bullshit since the beginning. <laughs> werewolf, teenage <laughs> vampire. And the cops turn up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. You are a pachuco punk. Don't even know what that means, but I agree with them. That very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. He 
He's being a little fishy. Again, though. For the most part, I believe him. I don't have evidence. I believe him. Fuck! Ah! That morphine is turning up everywhere. Uh, I'm too trusting. I'm a bus driver. Do I look like I run a dope rack? Yes, actually, you kind of do. Kind of. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, we can go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. <laughs> I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch. Fuck. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. What the fuck are you saying to me, asshole? So I guess these are all people who are in the war with you. Yeah. Are you buying a story? Not for a minute. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Oh, do you have to go like call it in or something? Where to? I don't know. Do we have? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Operator, you're never gonna believe what this asshole said to me. I love you too. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need to be on a jack. <laughs> Kelso. So, uh, do you have any plans tomorrow night? Dinner? Your place? Jack Kelso. Naked. Apartment 4. On the table? 1408 North. Forget North dinner. 14. <laughs> <laughs> Forget your place. Come here right now. I'm horny. Suck me in front of Roy. In the middle of the street. You know you want to. Oh, she touched my cha la la. Oh. oh, my ding ding dong. She oh, trusts my cha la la. She trusts. <laughs> she trusts my cha la la. Yeah, it's a good thing to trust your burden. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's got this weird rash on it. It's. Jack was a company it's star. <laughs> it fucking it burns. <laughs> we brace him and drag him down. <laughs> And you know, like, when I ejaculate, it's pure yellow. <laughs> um, I'm no doctor, but you should see a doctor. <laughs> and there's, like, there's a steady, steady stream of blood. <laughs> and, it wouldn't be pure yellow <laughs> At all times. The only time it's not bleeding is when I'm ejaculating. It's because that... that, that the, <laughs> It's because the tube for pee gets closed <laughs> off by the tube for sperm. And so then the blood stops coming out of the pee and then the sperm is... Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Uh, you know what I find hilarious in, uh, in Canada and all that stuff? So, so, as you all know, Canadians have free health care. But there's a catch. We fucking wait forever. And we have to, we have to see a doctor about seeing a different doctor. And then that doctor will see us when he's able to, which could be months down the line. And then if you actually need like surgery, that could be months down the line as well. I'm just afraid to go to the doctor because I'm worried that I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> you are every day. It's called life. I yeah, I know. All right, we're questioning some motherfuckers. All right, here we go. That has nothing to do with me. Aren't you a shady fuck? Who is this guy? Another dude from the war. He's another dude from the war! <gasps> oh, gosh. Wait, was he in the manifest? What's his name? Jack. Last name? <laughs> Jack. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> you know what, you're Go being your shit. Book. You're, you're Jack being... Kelso. Okay. Oh, okay. I think it's starting to give us less and less intuition points for each. It is. It looks like you get intuition points whenever you level up. And uh, we're not getting questions right, shit. so we're not leveling up. Yeah. 98.8% of players chose the correct answer after using an intuition point on this question. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Should we? No. Ask the community. I don't know what that means. It's... Okay, so everyone's doubting him. I'm sure it would be awesome. to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. 
You don't give a fuck about you or anything to do. Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Cool. Alright, so, you know we're going to continue questioning this motherfucker that everybody doesn't give a fuck about next time on Perfectly Calm Gaming. Keep calm and game on. Bitches.